Good morning, St. Lucia. How are you doing today? Thank you very much for waking up with us this early. You know we're going to give you something good. And this time is very interesting. We're going to be culturally exchanging today. And I'm happy to be in the presence of the ambassador for Cuba. We have Jorge Soberon. How are you doing? All is well. Thank you very much. Good morning to you also. Thank you so much. Now there's something exciting that's going to be coming up soon. And like I said, it will be a cultural experience as well. It is the Latin American Latin American Caribbean Film Festival right. happening. Yes. All right, perfect. Now this kicks off on November 27th, and we have a lot to look forward to. But our expert here will give us the details. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, good morning once again to you, Sheila, to all, all the team at the TV here, and to the St. Lucian public uh, in general. So, yes, we would like to announce, and here I am speaking in name of all the Latin American embassies here in St. Lucia, okay. with also in association with the St. Lucian uh, Audiovisual and Film Association, mm -hmm. and uh, we are presenting once again, the Latin American Film uh, Festival, beginning on Monday, 27th, every day until Saturday, the 2nd of December at 6 p.m. at Caribbean Cinemas at Choc. Now, admission is free, and it's uh, films for adults. So we welcome, in general, the San Lucian public, mm -hmm. so we can enjoy together and share some of our culture. So. We are very happy, very pleased that we can engage again in this initiative. I need to mention that the countries of Argentina, mm -hmm. Brazil, Cuba, Mexico, Venezuela, of course, St. Lucia will be present every day. And we have also invited, because so close links that we have with Spain, we have also invited Spain to be on Saturday and our embassies, of course, are working with all those participating in the initiatives, in the initiative, so we can offer this opportunity to public here in San Lucia. We are happy that this can take, take place again in San Lucia this year. Great. Now, you know, in keeping with that, it is the third year that LACFest is taking place. So, you know, if you missed out on it last year or the year before, this is your opportunity to come and really indulge. And, you know, one thing about film, because we do have a film industry that is now growing here in St. Lucia, but through film, it's a really great way to ex be exposed to different cultures and to learn whether it's the language or the way of life or how, you know, people really interact in different countries. And it right. kind of makes it easier. Um, for you all, why is it important to ensure that this continues every year? Yes, we need to create opportunities so the way of life, the thinking, the idiosyncrasy, mm -hmm. the culture, the knowledge of our peoples can be shared. For that we need, we need spaces and initiatives. And this is one that we take very seriously. This is why, as you can see, all the Latin American embassies here in San Lucia are participating every yes, year. And, and also, it creates uh, more um, possibilities for working together in the development of the film mm -hmm. uh, industry and the interaction with your association here in San Lucia in this regard. So, knowledge about how to engage in this area of arts and, and culture is being shared and it creates the beginning of new uh, possibilities in the area of culture and specifically even more in the area of, of film. Great. Now, you know, one thing I would like to ask you, because there's always this debate on the arts and culture. Now, for you representing your country, Cuba, which is so rich in culture, I love salsa music, but of course they're known as well for the ballet as well in Cuba. Mm. How important is it to continue to have support? Because clearly this initiative is supporting the arts, the film industry. How is it important is it to develop that in a nation? Well, I think in the case of the film industry, you get uh, a comprehensive view of the different cultures. Because when you are looking at a film, you are listening to music, you are lo looking at dancing, 
you are looking at the different languages. Yes. Remember Brazil, a Portuguese speaking yes. country, a very important country, of course, in our region has an excellent participation and presence also. So it's not just a Spanish speaking countries. And then San Lucia, of course, the host country is also uh, being present every day. Yeah. So I think it's a, it's a very good opportunity to identifying these, as I mentioned earlier, possibilities. And I know that already this exchange, the, the film festival, is having uh, a positive outcome when it comes to understanding better how can we work together. So St. Lucia, you know, now with that said, you know, we've kind of broken it down for you and going to give you that reminder, November 27th on Monday, Caribbean Cinemas, that's the place you need to be from 6 p.m. So you can come out, come just experience the culture, come broaden your mind, see something different as well. And it is free. I can't stress on that even more. And is there anything else you'd like to say? And every day until Saturday, the 2nd of okay. December at the same time, same place. All right, so 6 p.m., <laughs> November 27th through to the 2nd of December. So this is where you need to be. So you have plenty of opportunities to come out and just experience something different. So thank you very much You're for being welcome. here with us. Sheila. It was truly a pleasure. Wonderful. Gracias. De nada. <laughs> and of course, you see still a little bit of cultural exchange. I'll brush up on my Spanish for next time. I'm sure I'll be very better next time. Wonderful. All right, so we will see you soon. November 27th, be there. Good morning, St. Lucia, and how are you feeling today? I hope you're having a fantastic Tuesday. But of course, you're watching this morning. We are back, and we're here with a good friend of ours, Morgan. We're at the St. Lucia Diabetes and Hypertensive. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So, Morgan, I know you're a big part of the family. So, again, it's great when I get to interview and put you in the hot seat. Just kidding. How are you feeling today? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm feeling good. Great. And of course, we want to bring some good news to St. Lucia and some awareness because it is Diabetes Awareness Month. So Morgan is really the expert here with, with this. So what do you want to let St. Lucia know? Okay, just want to let St. Lucia know that we at the association, we are working tirelessly to make people aware of the dangers of diabetes. And so for the month, we have a number of activities that we have organized. Um, a few of the activities, for example, we have our Diabetes Awareness Motorcade this coming Sunday. Um, the motorcade um, starts at 9.30 from the Derek Walcott Square, and we'll be going around the island um, distributing literature on diabetes, on healthy living, on exercise, and that kind of stuff. And we will culminate in Grosily about 4 o'clock in the afternoon with what we call a fitness extravaganza. Now, we would really like the public to come out and support us in the motorcade. You could just um, hop into your vehicle and tag along. We have the various members of the various motorcycle clubs who will be riding along with us, distributing the information. And for the extravaganza, we have a number of fitness clubs who will be um, performing and doing the thing, as well as um, TC Brown has um, agreed to make an appearance, and um, the um, Blind Welfare Association Band. So that's the Motorcade this coming Sunday the 19th and as I said, we would really like the public to come out and support this activity. Now I know there's so much happening right now as well, not only to help, you know, the movement, but to raise awareness. Mm -hmm. And I think right now, if we look at St. Lucia specifically, I know it's all about dispelling, you know, misinformation out there too, because I know one big issue or one, you know, major myth people feel like sugar is the main cause of diabetes or the number one cause so oh my gosh if you stay away from sugar you won't get diabetes but mm -hmm. i know that's not the case the question is saint lucia do you know that and morgan you know what you know facts do you have to let saint lucia know this early morning okay um we're myth there, busting <laughs> there there is evidence that um diabetes um is hereditary in some cases mm -hmm. um but basically the main culprit is um, sugar, mm -hmm. um, lack of exercise, um, and what you eat, basically what right. you eat. Um, because don't forget everything that you eat turns to sugar. Exactly. So even if you, um, someone might you decide that he's abstaining from, from sugar, but he um, takes in a lot of carbs, 
carbs would tilt the sugar. Mm -hmm. So there's still the possibility that one can develop diabetes even if one stays away from sugar. Mm -hmm. And that was one of the first things I saw that came up on Google, that you know people believe that it's only sugar, but it's not just raw sugar in no. that form. So you have to watch what you, you eat. Watch what Weight you is eat. a major problem. Yeah. So that's why we're trying to help you keep fit, keep active. And of course, Morgan is you know, keenly organizing so many different events as well. And today, another special one is happening. Mm -hmm. um, but before I talk about that activity to get us moving and healthy, and of course, hopefully prevent diabetes, I know you have a special magazine coming out today. Yes, we do. We have what we call the Blue Circle magazine. It's our first time that we are publishing this magazine. Um, really, the magazine is local. Every writer in the magazine is a local person. It's predominantly female, the writers. The reason for that is because the theme for this year is women and diabetes. So we have people like Dr. Merle Clark, Dr. Nathaniel, um, people like um, Lydia Atkins, and a few other um, ladies, um, Dr. Glasgow, and um, many more ladies who have written articles um, in the magazine. The magazine will be on sale as of today, and we're asking for just a contribution of no less than ten dollars for the magazine. Okay, I think that's reasonable as well too. And it's full color, right? Eh? It's a full colored magazine yes. printed by the Star Publishing. Now to the exciting thing, and this is how we're going to wrap up. Mm -hmm. So I know, of course, an effort to still keep Saint Lucia healthy and raise awareness on diabetes, hypertension as well. What's happening later today? Okay, later today we have our annual moonlight walk. This year we're excited because we have extended the walk to two other locations. Last year the walk were in Soufre, Viewfort and Castries. Mm -hmm. This year we have extended to Miku and Denry. They have come aboard and we are hoping that as some, um, like for example next year we will have a few other locations. The whole purpose of the walk is to diversify, to move away from Castries. If you notice most of the walks are, that are held are, ca or in, no, are in, the, in north, the north, north base. And so we wanted to spread the love and to spread the message to the other community. So hence the reason why we have one in Soufre, one in Viewfort, the other one in Denry and in Miku and so on, because we want to create that awareness nationally, not just a Castries or North kind mm -hmm. of thing. The walk um, in all the communities would begin at six, and they are short walks, they're not very long walks, because the purpose of the walks are to create awareness of mm -hmm. diabetes. We have lights, um, like yeah, as you could see, our light there, those lights are only <laughs> five dollars. Okay. And we have registration. One could register today for the latest um, at the association, if you're in Castries. Um, and registration is only $20, and you get a T-shirt if you register. Now, if you don't register, you could still come to the walk. Just wear something blue or something white, because blue is the okay. diabetes um, color. So you can just come to the walk if you um, are unable to register, and just join us in creating the awareness. So later on today, 6 p.m., make sure you're there to so come out and register. and. Sure. Um, look out for the magazine too and we will keep bringing you even more because you got to stay tuned our next segment we're going to have some healthy cooking five minutes healthy cooking segment for you so there's no excuse not to be able to prepare something good and nutritious for you to eat so sure. morgan thank you very much for thank being you. here with us and see you yeah. we will see you later okay thank you Welcome back, good people, and how are you feeling this Tuesday? Guess what? If you just tuned in, thank goodness you've not missed the end of the show. This is our final segment, so you still get a moment to catch some of our vibe here on this morning. Now, it is November, which is our Healthy Up Clean Up movement. So with that, too, right now it's also Diabetes Awareness Month, so we're bringing you a five-minute, quick and easy, healthy cooking recipe with Chef Robbie. Welcome to Um Today we're going to be doing some healthy dishes, and one of those dishes that we're going to be doing is a healthy salad, okay? And we're gonna try to incorporate a lot of color, a lot of local ingredients into the, into the salad. Along with the salad, we're gonna be serving some grilled salmon, which is a healthy choice. Um, and, you know, the chicken and the beef and the pork. Um, so today, I have prepared some local lettuce, some tomatoes, some carrots, cucumbers, some red cabbage and some bell peppers. Along with that, we have some avocado to go. Um, so I'm just gonna start plating the salad. Basically, I'm just gonna take 
التخمين يا yeah. and i kind of left you know the carrots a little bit bigger than you normally see they're thin but um just so you can get a better bite a better hold you don't have to um keep going everywhere for a piece of carrot um keep your mind the same thing So I'm gonna be, you know, just pouring the, the avocado, basically taking out the uh, avocado. Yeah. Variations. As you know, avocados are very healthy. All those healthy fats in there. Um, let's check on our fish. Okay, we have a nice piece of salmon egg grilled. We don't want to over grill this. We want it to dry. Nice piece of grilled salmon. The chef has also prepared a lovely portion of polenta, cooked in coconut milk, right chef? Yes, uh, it's a coconut milk polenta. So all you need is like one can of coconut milk, but you can use freshly grated. Coconut, you just drain it with a bit of water, right? Right, and squeeze the milk out of it. Squeeze the milk out of it. Um, and in case, in case you guys didn't know, um, polenta is um, cornmeal. Cuckoo. What we call, what the patients call cuckoo. We down here, we call it cornmeal. It's the national dish in Barbados, flying fish and cuckoo. And uh, Italians call it polenta. So, you know, don't be confused by the name. So we're just going to put a dab of Um, for salmon, I like it. I like it well done, just mildly pink in the center, so that when it gets to the plate, to the table, I mean, the, the pinkness is just about cooking. I can also it's nice and moist. On the other hand, sometimes I like a nice piece of dried and seared tuna, you know, with some fries and, and salad and stuff, you know, but generally, I like my salmon, you know, nice and moist, so I can enjoy the flavor of the salmon. But you know us West Indians, we like our fish, you know, nice and crisp. You know, we like fried fish. So if we can get it seared nicely all the way, we are here. So there you go. We're just going to place the salmon on a little bit of that polenta nicely. And along, we have a nice vinegar to go in there. A little bit of olive oil, mustard, um, salt, pepper. We're going to juice it a little bit. And for you guys who go and buy salad dressing in the supermarket on a regular basis, you can make your own dressings home. Easy, very easy. A basic vinaigrette and you're good to go. Lovely. Alright, so Lucia, here you go. Another nice vegetarian dish prepared for you. For you seafood lovers or if you're all veggie, you can do that with a piece of grilled tofu. If you didn't care to use salmon or chicken breast, you can use um, soy, some, 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 some nice soya products and stir fry it and eat it with that salad on the same polenta and you have a nice healthy vegetarian dish. And for you um, diabetics out there, because we targeting diabetics in, you know, in particular who are having a hard time you know, eating rice and Lucia, it's so easy to eat right. We just gotta just pick the right vegetables, you know, and have, have a little knack for cooking or you know, follow television shows and do variations of whatever you see. Now, for all of us who say or claim say that it's difficult to cook healthy, there you have it. We did that within about five minutes here. So if we can do it, you can do it too. So there's no excuses. So come on, jump on board this train with us. It's our November Healthy Up Cleanup Movement. So we're giving you ideas. Don't forget on a Thursday, we have this belly belly smoothie of the week. So you have to stay tuned for that. And every Tuesday, we're gonna be bringing you that healthy five minute cooking segment. So we're gonna try to our best 
to be there with you to help you on this movement okay so we got to do this together and now with that said too i'm going to wish everybody all of our family watching right now special good morning to you and remember it's never too late to do anything if you want to revamp if you want to feel brand new i needed to feel a little bit brand new too so i hope you guys are feeling my new hair color and if not then it's okay i still love you anyways but with that let's go out there and make the most of this tuesday and remember tomorrow's gonna be wednesday it's our midweek wednesday so we're gonna bring you something more something special keep it healthy and let's keep at the forefront as well that it is diabetes awareness month we want to see you out on the moonlight walk later this evening so come out come marching and just support the cause and it's very very important what we eat right now let's focus on that it is so paramount to our health so on that note good morning to everybody once again go out and just be amazing and make sure you join me tomorrow 6 a.m or else hey i don't want to fall out of love with any one of you so make sure you keep it locked we'll see you soon